My younger brother died aged 21. I lost everything when he died because we were best friends, not brothers. Death of my dearest friend, my brother, wrecks me. My drug use made it worse. I'm on steroids. It's awful. And it became worse till I didn't want to be here. To relieve the torment, only leaving the body made logical. July 17, 2010, I consumed an entire bottle of narcotic medications because I knew this would kill me. It was only a couple of minutes. Everything started to darken quickly. Darkness started trickling in, and I knew this was it for me. I glanced down at the paramedic as white drips. I think the paramedics had to be contacted, so I had a 20-minute window. In my case, it was instant. It went black and white, and now I'm hovering over my body. Holy crap, I'm dead. I died. I did it. My life ended, but then I realized I'm alive. I'm better than ever. I felt safe and nothing could go wrong. There was no anxiety, depression, pain, guilt, or shame. Every item in my body was gone. I was home. I'm in an ambulance, looking down at my body. I looked down at paramedics treating me. This review began then. I could feel what I did to everyone I met. I sensed their grief, sorrow, and wrath. So much of that. I experience it from their perspective. I'm also experiencing those I did well with. Positive emotions like joy or enthusiasm are arising. However, much more negative. Nothing was decided. Judge, jury, prosecutor. I was. I was all about self-judgment. I was condemning myself for what I could have done better or improved. I didn't pass any of the hurdles in my life blueprint. I realized that nothing I did accomplished anything and that all these tasks were incomplete. Although not a letdown, I thought, oh man, I couldn't even get one thing right on this list. I clearly failed. I could have done better. I failed at life if it were a game. My younger brother died a year prior. He came up to me, exuberant, and said, wow, that was quite the experience, quite the journey, hilariously. He says, I want you to come over here. I want you to follow me. Three entities were in this light room when he took me in. There were two female and one male guides. The two women wore Victorian clothes and the guy tribal. I think these people were soul family or guides. They had a shine, but so did everything else. There are degrees of brightness. They were fair and brighter than my brother, who was darkened. These entities said, you must work. You're incomplete. You must finish. Better life may be waiting for you. No need to return. We're not forcing you back, but we highly recommend it. At the soul level, there was no choice. I knew I was going back because I saw how horribly I messed up and wanted to rectify it. We have emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical bodies. As a blanket, the emotional body was heavy and dark because it held memories. Memories flash before me. Similar to a storm. Similar to a body's weather system. It was dark, there were flashes of light, and recollection was in the emotional body as well as the mind. When I saw the mental body, it looked like a dut or halo, like saints, except mine was dark. A dark halo. It was identical. There was a spinning field of energy around the mind. Nothing caught my eye. Clearly, the emotional body was involved. It was wild. It was like a swirling blackness. Also, the physical body was dense and heavy due to toxins, and it appeared sick. The spirit body powers everything with electricity. You can't function without the spirit body. The bodies were heavy and dense for me, and they kept getting heavier. Then I had to address these bodies. They required changing. I needed to reduce weight. After then, a stunning holographic vision encircled me in this room, my future. It was Earth's future. Very distinct. It was so altered that it made no sense. Say I was 50 and could sense things were different. Big changes occur on Earth. I wanted to die before the NDE, but now I want to live. My only goal is to do my best. That changed me completely. Finding meaning, purpose, and something to live for helped me. Give life significance. Life doesn't give you life. Giving your life purpose is up to you. Our destiny is the life theme we choose, but free will is how we act it out. We can proceed rich or poor, right or wrong, joyful or unhappy. We have free will, but the topic is your trip, and you can't escape its fate. I see the world this way, but my neighbors don't. People around me don't see it that way. Your true north road begins when you realize where you are, 
why you're here, and what you're here to do and live it out. Your path is purposeful. That road is where the magic happens. Once synchronicities flow, things start happening for you. More things happen to increase the excitement, making life a synchronistic adventure. It was merely a life in my pre-life. I was barely surviving. I call it survival, not living. My life is an adventure now. Find adventure because when you see life as an adventure, or something to overcome, you can look at obstacles as, oh, I'll get through this, right? I'll defeat this, not, oh god, I don't want to do this again, right? You can be happier when life expands on you. My current self is far better than my past self, my god.